Right. Welcome back, everybody. Been a week. And we are finally back streaming. And uh, yeah, we got called in to work. Or I got called in to work on Sunday. Oh, sorry, on Monday. Um, I was supposed to have Monday off. Just do Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And uh, yeah, the it's been really cold here. Um, doesn't really matter whether you put a Celsius or a Fahrenheit after the temperature. It's pretty much been the same. So yeah, not fun. But we are back, and we will be continuing with NHL 20, up to the third season, so essentially last year for the NHL, season 2021-22, and uh, our new look Canucks from the start of the year have been trucking along really well. The end of last episode, I think we were looking at the possibility of making a move with the Flyers to see if we can get Nolan Patrick. So that's where we are up to. And, oh, hang on a sec. I'll be right back. I'll bring up the uh, game screen so you can see the standings and everything like that so hang on i will be right back Yes, our cat has taken to jumping in the bathtub and trying to peel away all the sealant around the top of it. So I heard her uh, walking up there, so I just wanted to make sure she wasn't doing that. She's not. She's uh, She saw me following her and uh, booked a turn into my bedroom instead. <laughs> I think she just tried to fake me out, but whatever. She hasn't been doing great, uh, particularly this week. I mean, as I mentioned, it's been really cold and um, yeah, her meows have been really mournful. And she's been kind of lethargic. Uh, we were thinking maybe we might have to take her to the vet. But um, then I realized, well, actually, my partner uh, made an offhand comment, I think. Um, because we got her a little um, strip of grass. Like, just because so, she's an indoor cat, so she can sort of munch on it and. Um, do stuff like that and it lasted maybe a week a week and a half before it just started to um, shrivel up and die because it was basically too cold and not enough sun 
and um, yeah, the twig, if you like, or what twigged for me was when she said, not enough sun, because of course, as we know, cats are solar powered, and the direction that our apartment faces, we face a sort of like a little uh, forested area, and we don't get much sunlight in winter, so... I thought maybe she's got that, what is it, seasonal depression or whatever. So we ended up getting her a little uh, sun lamp thing or a sad lamp or whatever it's called to try and help with that. And the very first day of using that, we came back home from work and she was a bundle of energy and uh, kind of back to normal. So I think that's all it was for her. Which is... Uh, Really nice for us. I'm glad we were able to figure it out. So as you can see, our team has been doing real good. We got 15 points on the next best. The Edmonton Oilers and I think it was the Sharks. Bess is having a real good season. And we are just playing really good. But yes, the Philadelphia Flyers would like to give up uh, Nolan Patrick who they have extended he's on like a three million dollar deal and then the next couple of years he's on like a two and a half mil or something but they haven't played him he's played zero games this year and only a handful over the last couple I believe if we go in here and have a look at it. Of course, we don't know anything about him. That's the uh, problem, right? So we don't know his trade value. Yeah, one year left on that deal, but he has been extended for two. Oh, so 3.1 and then 2.1. Okay but no games played and yeah four games last year six the previous year so he's not doing anything i did have a little bit of a look around um just to see what they would potentially want for it and you look at what they want from us they basically want all our best players, which kind of sucks. Um, there's no one really here that I would be willing to give up. I mean, um, wouldn't mind, like, say, some of these guys, but, uh, the, I mean, essentially we'd want to give up Dubinsky, right, for him. But the issue that we're going to have is... The trade value that um, Philadelphia believe him to be is somewhere between Horvat and Pulock, so probably halfway between. Now, theoretically, we could get that, because if you look at what we got, we got this guy, right, that who we drafted last year. Brent Clark, right-handed, two-way defender, currently playing in the... OHL, I think? Or is he playing in the US? Oh, I don't know, anyway. I should say, shouldn't it? No, he's not signed, so we don't know where he's playing. I think he's playing in the US. So, we could trade him. They don't want him, but we could trade him. We could also trade our first for this year. And that'd probably get us the trade value we need. The issue I have with doing that is... Brent Clark, as we saw, is listed as a elite player, right? Medium elite potential. 
Sorry, let me go back to all skaters. And he is only uh, 19 years old, 57 overall. So he's probably, you know, three or four years away before cracking this roster. If he fits in, he's our replacement for Pulock. Because he's got, I believe, five years, hasn't he? We signed him for six, so he's basically got five years left after this. So let's say Clark is ready in another three years to replace Pulock. Or maybe not even to replace Pulock. Maybe he would replace uh, Troy Stetcher on that third line and then be bumped up. So let's say he's four years away. That means we've got one more year on Pulock's contract. I don't really want to give that up. And then he'd be, what, 23? 23 versus 31, basically, is what we'd have. So I don't really want to give that up. Likewise, I don't really want to give up uh, Stillman, who I think is listed as a sniper, is he not? Yeah, 70 overall sniper, listed as a other forward. Playing real good, 44 games played. 19 minutes of ice time and he's already got, uh, what, 63 points. Plus 16, only got 12 penalty minutes, so he potentially is going to be on our second line in a, probably a couple years. He'll probably be playing in the AHL next year, unless we keep him there for another couple years and then just bring him straight into the NHL, which is a possibility. We could do that, in which case then we would probably shift out, um, where is he? Duclair, who I think we signed, right? We signed for three years. So let's say we keep... Um, what was his name? Stillman. There for next year as well. Then we might be able to do something. But we'll see. We shall see. Hogland is not playing too badly in the AHL there. Nine points in 57 games. Only getting eight minutes of ice time, but he's still listed as a other forward. So we're not giving him um, too much there. Jet Wu, I think, has been playing okay as well. Still also listed as an other. 12 points for him. 15 and a half minutes per game. So both those guys have been playing pretty good. So we don't really have any problems. Now, last episode, we did pick up uh, Yuya Kiara, Karia, or whatever, I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, in replacement for Michael Furland, I believe, just to bring in a bit more, or free up a little bit more cap space. Uh, he's only got one more year left, or this year left, sorry, at less than one and a half mil. We might have to think about extending him. Wakabayashi, what's he listed as? Top four? Top four defenseman. Left-handed, wasn't he? No, right-handed. Two-way defenseman, right-handed. So we've got two options. we got either him or uh, Stillman. I'm uh, not Stillman, sorry. Um, Brent Clark, right? Yes. So we've got Wakabayashi and Clark as our two main defensive prospects, and then Stillman is the offensive prospect. Well, actually, I, I guess you could throw in Hoaglander and maybe even Gadjevich as well. I think they've got around that trade value. I know Hoaglander does. Yeah, there he is. Uh, oh, I guess uh, he doesn't have that. Gadjevich does not have as much trade value as I was thinking. Interesting. Okay. But he could potentially fit on our NHL team eventually. With that uh, rating. Likewise, actually, what is uh, Hoaglander? What did I give him? Where is he? There he is. Balanced, balanced, energy balanced. 
I think that fits on the second line, doesn't it? Would he be our uh, two-way forward or power forward on that line? Um, best chemistry with Reed Duke. Now, Reed Duke is an interesting one. He is still pretty young. I can find him. He's 26 years old. Two way forward. But look at that face off rating. I'm kind of wondering if we're looking in the wrong spot for him, for our uh, centers. Maybe we take a chance on him for next year. Put him on that fourth line. Try and find a third line center with good face offs. And go from there. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So we drop Dubinsky. Because I think he's only got this one year left, right? Yeah, so he's done. We drop Zajac and try and find somebody else. Because these guys, 35, 36 years old. So they're pretty old. They might not be around for much longer. They might choose retirement. So that's kind of where I'm thinking. That we might be able to do something. Of course, last year we tried uh, Freddie Goodrow. Not too bad face-off, 77. Uh, not as good as Duke, though. So I'm thinking maybe we give him a shot. We also got uh, Chartier up currently. He's a lefty. 77 face-offs, not too shabby. Basically similar to Dubinsky, right? But not as good on the face-off circle. My idea is essentially to run with Chartier and uh, Duke next year as our third and fourth line centers. We drop Dubinsky, we drop Zajac. Unless one of them wants to come back as a depth player, then that's fine. But that's kind of where I'm thinking. So I don't believe there is any point in making any trades. But we will have a look and see who else is available. Because we kind of got stuck. Well, not stuck. We stopped on Philly. No NHL guys for Pittsburgh. A lot of guys for San Jose, but big contracts. We need guys with like just one year left. So potentially Thomas Hurdle wouldn't be a bad guy there, but that's a lot of trade value. I don't think that would be that great. Uh, Jason Spetzer, 38 years old, right-handed shot, really good face-offs. Fits in on all penalty kill. He doesn't fit in anywhere else, though. That's the problem. Sam Gagne, again, uh, third liner. Where's he fit in? Does not fit in at all, unfortunately. So, I don't know. And then you got uh, these guys over here. Of course, we made a trade with them. Zach Ashton Reese, two way forward, right winger. Fits in on the first forward line. And then you got uh, Joachim Ryan as a depth defender. But we already have a depth defender in... Um, I can't remember his name. What the hell is his name? Oh, it's going to annoy me now. And Yusu Arikala. Played nine games, 12 and a half minutes of ice time. What's his freaking name? As, as soon as I see it, I'll know it. Well, obviously. Fantenberg, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's what I was looking for. Oops, no, go, oh, they, what, who do they want to give up? Cam Talbot, Calvin Picard. 
So San Jose could be an option, but again, I don't know if there's a whole lot of guys there. Uh, ooh, they want to give up David Schlanko. A left-handed two-way defender. Plus, we already made a trade with them. Bergeron. Jonathan Bergeron. Okay. Oh, they got a uh, Grigorenko. But not Mikhail Grigorenko. A bit old for this game, I think. Tampa still want to give up Calfoot. We probably don't really need him, though, do we? You got Fitz, McKay, or McKee, Lepanov. Yeah, no NHL already guys, though, eh? Likewise, Toronto. They do want to give up uh, Jared Hull. Justin Hull, sorry, not Jared. Um, he's not played. We don't know what he is. Maybe I'll scout him. Why not? What's his contract like? Two years at two mil. Uh, you know what? I'll pin him. That's fine. See how he's like. Vegas want to give up a ton of players. Matt Niskanen, Riley Smith, Stevenson, Stashney, Troy Brower. Troy? That is Troy, I think, yes. Uh, Hansel, no. Hansel's a AHL player now, okay. Nick Cousins, Holden. He's playing in the AHL for some reason. Merrill. Okay, so a lot of guys there that Vegas want to give up. Washington, Tom Wilson, that's about it. Again, that's a lot of contract though, 5 mil for 3 years. What is he listed as? Power forward, yeah. And then Winnipeg. No NHL guys. They do want to go up Logan Stanley, though. Left-handed 2A defenseman, isn't he? No, he's listed defensive defenseman, but we haven't scouted him brilliantly, so... He might be a 2A. That's about it. I don't really think there's anything... there... that would make our team any better. Other than Nolan Patrick, but I'm not making that trade. I'm not giving up... our farm basically for that so we're gonna stick with what we got we're making no moves at all unless we could make AHL moves hang on a second here what do Tampa want because we could uh, do some AHL moves Right, pick up Calfoot through that. But I think they want NHL caliber ready. Yeah, they do. They want all NHL players. Um, they want to give up. or well, they want to give up. They would like ne uh, Bergman. Bergman for foot, maybe. Wait, he's an 80 overall now? Seriously? That's defenseman. Pinch and balanced. Hang on a second here. Where is, uh... How old is Stetcher? Stetcher's got a lot of trade, more, more trade value. Balanced and balanced. Hold the line and cycle, yeah, so nothing... really would fit there unfortunately but what is he sorry what is it on the uh second line where's the second line oh they don't want to anyone on the second line okay hang on a second balanced and balanced okay and the top line is pinch cycle so he would fit in on that top line but so does uh pulock i don't think that's really worth it is it now 
Bergman for Dear Lefty. I think he's a righty, wasn't he? Sorry, is um Cal Foot a righty? Or is he a lefty? I have a feeling he's a lefty. No, he is a righty. Do we make that trade? Has he been extended? He's 23 years old. I wouldn't mind doing that. What do you reckon about that? Bergman for Cal Foot. They got him for another year, so that's a cheap NHL deal there. And we're getting a younger defenseman back. Who can slot in on that first forward line. I wouldn't mind maybe... Should we try that? Why don't we try that? See what they reckon. Rejected. Tampa can live with what you're asking us to send. Your offer meets our trade block, but your scout's assessment of your side of the equation is outlandishly optimistic. Okay, so we need to throw in more than that. So if we wanted... Cow foot, we would have to give in more than that. Stetcher is worth more. In which case, then we would probably have to bring up Bergman. Now, he doesn't technically fit, does he? His morale is pretty good. Bergman's morale is also pretty good. He's a year younger. He's listed as depth. I don't really want to give up like a first round pick for him. We don't have any seconds this year or next year. So you know what? I don't think... Uh, I don't think there's any point, eh? Toronto. Oh... Hull, 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 as a right-handed guy. But we don't know anything about him. We're basically looking for decent young talent. I wouldn't mind picking up Walinda, but... Uh... It's, again, is a lot of trade value. And I don't think it's worth it. Nikonen is a two-way left-handed center. Wouldn't be bad. Whoops. And that's it. So, you could pick up Hampus Lindholm. Left-handed shot, two-way defender. Wouldn't be bad for that second line, eh? It's a bit too much trade value and a bit too much... Uh, Cap space. Evan Rodriguez. Playmaker. Forward Ooh, hang on. Forward line three. Evan Rodriguez. Oh, he's listed as a playmaker though, isn't he? What's his uh how good's his face off been? Oh, he's only played three games, never mind. Oh, he's at the Kings. Okay, that's fine. He was traded already, okay. 
Yeah, under 50%. We kind of needed a bit higher than that. Kind of needed a bit more than that. Yeah, he's not been a great face-off man, has he? Okay, that's fine. You can get Tyler Mott back. I don't think there's any need. Buffalo don't want to give anyone up. There's not a whole lot here, is there? Chicago don't want to give anyone up. Ooh, Columbus want to give up Seth Jones. Has he been extended? He has not. Wouldn't mind him for pure lock. That'd be pretty good, eh? Defensive pairing three, really? What is the defensive pairing three? Hang on a second. Oh, they all want to give up Jamal Smith. What is defensive pairing three? Hang on. So one is pinch and cycle. Hold the line and cycle. So he probably fits in, yeah. I kind of like Pulock though. I mean, that that deal is uh, real good, right? Five and a half mil for six years. I think, uh, I don't think there's any point in trying to do much there. Vince Dunn may get a bit better. He's got 26 points already. He might get a tiny bit better. Have to wait and see on that. I do think that was uh, worth the trade. So you know what? I don't think we're going to make any trades here. I'm just going to see. They want to give a third and a sixth. That means we would not have a second or a third this year. We get another fourth though, and a fifth and a sixth. Sorry, next year. Uh, what is Carpenter listed as? Right wing, two way forward. He's 31 years old. We would be helping them out a bit, right? They've got half a mil in cap space. We've got five mil. But we lose a third from next year. We gain a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth, but we also lose our sixth from this year. I'm not overly concerned about the, the fifth and sixth round picks. The third could be something pretty good though, but we are trying to get better, we're trying to get more depth, and uh, he could be, he's only got a year as well, right? He wasn't extended, I don't think, let me have a look, I don't think he was extended. No, he's not. So we could pick him up for a year, help out AHL squad, also have somebody that potentially could be depth for us. Um, yeah, alright. So now I need to edit some lines, don't I? So who's going? 
think it's gonna have to be uh, Hoffman. Sorry, Greg. Wait, Fanberg got sent down? Are you serious? Okay, hang on a second here. Hang on a second. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, because he's a... Uh, yeah, hang on. Um, who am I going to send down? It's probably going to have to be... Chartier, isn't it? He's on waivers though, isn't he? So Fanberg got sent down. Do we have anybody on a no for the waivers? We do not. I need a defenseman. I need a defenseman. I'm gonna have to uh, do it, I think. Unless I do bring up Bergman. Okay. Yeah, I think we might bring up Bergman, actually. So Rafferty is going to come up here. Um, Bergman, you can stay there. That's fine. We're going to put Fanberg in. I know he's a lefty, but he can play there. And uh, let's see if we can do anything about it, eh? Uh, edit line, roster moves, that's what we want. Hopefully this goes good. So we're going to push that guy straight down. I don't... I want to keep Chartier. I don't really care about him, so he's gone. Oh, okay, hang on. Uh, so him for Bergman. Yeah, whatever. Did he make it, is the question. He's nervous about his call-up, that's fine. No one claimed him. Okay, good. Let's uh, chuck him on this line then, for now. Oh, he's a 78 overall, okay. Oof. So he might need a bit of time, eh? Alright, I'm gonna swap uh, down here. Uh, it's Goldobin. Goldobin could shoot left, actually, so we'll put him over there. Um, I am gonna bring up Hoaglander. I'll give him a little bit more ice time. be a zero. I don't really want that to be a zero. That's a minus two. Uh, okay, that's fine. We'll just, we'll just roll with that. Do we want to give him a go? Do we want to give Bergman a go here? Because we could put him on here. I know he's listed as depth, but maybe we should give him a bit of a run here. We do lose our one thing though, don't we? It's only 20 games though, isn't it? Yeah, you know what? We'll uh, put Stetcher in again. And Bergman's going to be our backup.
Demko, 86 overall. Good. Reimer, 80, 82 overall. Okay, anyone need new contracts? I think we re-signed Besser, didn't we, last time? I think we did. Yeah, we did. 10.5 mil. Yeah, okay. We also signed, re signed Raquel for 5 and 7, 5.75. Okay. Um, so he does not want to re sign. That's fine. Uh, Zajac does. And Dubinsky does. Does uh, Reimer? Both of them want to. Okay, we'll uh, think about it, eh? We'll think about it. But we're done. That is the only trade we're going to make. We're not trading Nemeth. Sorry, Pittsburgh, but no. 3 nothing win over Nashville going into the trade deadline. Let's have a look. The Avalanche have won their last nine. Drysaddle picked up a hat trick against Arizona. So did Tyson Barry against the Kings. Okay. Have a look. Has there been any trades other than us? A few, eh? In a way, oh, that one, there we go. Just a few. Nothing big. So we're probably going to have to look at a third line right winger. Left winger. Since uh, that guy does not want to resign for us. Would be a grinder, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll find something. I think we'll be able to find something. Pretty confident in that. Okay, let's uh, go forward a bit. Already wasted, what, 45 minutes of this stream. We will be streaming tonight. Up to the ninth, I think. Uh, likely going to be more... Oh, Vin's done, injured, April 6th. Oh, that's, that's a big one. Um, Bergman's going to have to come in. Okay, that's fine. Justin Braun. Right-handed defenseman. Yeah, I don't think we really need him. Q-Lock has been injured. Okay, hang on a second here. Hang on a second. Okay. Um, okay, so we need to... Roster move. Okay, okay. That's fine, I don't care right now. Um, so we need a defenseman. A right-handed defenseman. Is it time? Is it time? Because we need someone with a no, and he's the only guy. Jet Wu is the only guy that we can do this with. I think it's going to have to be, isn't it? Um, unless we do bring up Fantenberg, which we probably could. I'm just going to pick Fantenberg here. I don't think anyone would uh, 
pick him up. But let's have a look here. Okay, so Bergman is not going to be there. So we're going to put Fanberg in. And we're going to put Bergman in up here, I think, is uh, all we can do. We also need to fix our AHL squad. I think we took out, yeah, we took out Chatfield, that's right. So I'm going to bring up Jet Wu on that second line there. So our defense looks a bit thin. Extra attacker, really? Goldobin, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll put, uh, we probably had a defenseman, didn't we? Put Tevez because uh, we're not really doing anything with him. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's let's put uh, Sortner. To so Goldobin? No, I don't want Goldobin. I'm going to put uh, Oglander in instead here. Where is, uh... Yeah, no, I'm gonna swap these two guys around. I need Murray. I know he's listed as AHL, but he fit, he would fit in perfectly on that second line. Balance, balanced, energy, balanced. Oh, so does he. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll swap them back around. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully we don't have any too badly. We won a game against Chicago and Edmonton, but we lost to Calgary. Okay. So when is he back? Because we're running a bit thin, eh? I think uh, one of them was back soon, right? Yeah, Pulock is back. March 12th, okay. So that's uh, after the Winnipeg game. He might be ready for the Winnipeg game. Carson Folk has been injured with a concussion March 22nd. Yeah, that's fine. Replace him, that's fine. Hewlock is fully healed, all right. Thank you, Julius, but uh, we need our big stud back in right now. We'll go forward today. 4-1 loss. So our AHL squad is probably going to take a bit of a hit here. We'll go another week and a bit up to the second or the other Calgary game, 21st. See how we go. Vantenberg's been injured. March 20, that's fine. General Scouting has released their rankings. Oh my god. Bergman. Well, we're going to have to replace a player and then hopefully get Fantenberg back. Oh, Fantenberg is back. Hang on. Okay, we're just going to have to roll with that, I think, for now. We know that. So what did we go here? We... Went 2, 1, and 2. 
No. Two, two and one. Yes, two, two and one. Okay. So we're just holding water, holding ground, I should say. We are nine points, sorry, 11 points up on the Sharkies. Um, Dunn will be back in time for the playoffs. Uh, Carson Folked is fully healed. Okay, so we'll bring him in. Where was he? He was the center, isn't he? Yeah, there we go. Two way forward. 22 years old, yeah. All right, we'll go back to the NHL. So right now our NHL teams are hurting a little bit. Win and a loss. Jet Wu's gain morale, a loss to Arizona, a loss to Dallas. We are leaking points. But there's not much we can do about that right now until we get um, Vince Dunn back. Back to back losses there. A win against Calgary, a win against San Jose. And we've got a 100 point season. There you go. So we win our division. Uh, it looks like who will we be playing? Probably Dallas. Okay. We'll go up to the seventh. Vince Dunn is back. I'm going to rest him for this game. And now we'll put Dunn in. The regular season is over. And we're back with Fantenberg as our uh, backup defenseman. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the uh, team's been playing. I think we're doing pretty good. For now. Has everybody played? Whoops. 82. I don't see any 81s, eh? So everybody has played, so let's have a look. Besser had a 100-point season. 58 goals for Brock Besser. What a beast. I wish he could do that for us in real life. That'd be amazing. PD had 83 points. Horvat, 77. Raquel, 70. So did the Mestikov. Duclair, 27 goals. 56 points on that second line. Pretty decent. Uh, Zajac, 24 points on the third line. 22 for Anderson. 21 for Tanev. Dubinsky, 17. McEwen, 16. Um, he only had 16 points, but he didn't play much with us. Chartier played 13 games for two points, so he's our backup forward. Okay. What else we got? Defensively, probably Quinn. Quinn Hughes, 57 points in 69 games. Hulock, 38 points in 79. Dunn, 26 points in 64. Amanek, nearly a 20 point season from him, that's not bad. Stetra and Namath, 16 15. Benberg, 13 points in 34 games. And uh, Bergman only played five games for us, but he's still injured. Goalies, how did our boys do? Demko had an 896 save percentage. 3.14 goals against. So he, this was his first year as the starter though. So that's fine. I think. Reimer had a real good season. 11 wins, 6 losses, 9-2-1 save percentage. 2.33 goals against. What a beast that was. Alright, so let's have a look whoops, at our uh, forwards. Who won the points? Nathan McKinnon. What a surprise. 
his contract's pretty good. I think his actual contract's up soon. To be honest, let's have a look. How many more years left is EA? At the end of this year, his contract is up. As a steal of a contract, eh? Six, six and a half mil. Connor McDavid. 104 points there. Malkin there. And then Besser. Right up there. So who won goals? Did he win it? He did. He did. We had four guys get a 50 goal season and Besser was the best of them. So there you go. We, uh, he wins the Rocket Richard trophy. Good job, Brock. Most assists is Willie Nylander. Tied with Yamamoto, actually. Nuge is right behind him on 67. McKinnon on 66. Okay, uh, let's have a look at, we'll go points again. We'll go defenseman. Looks like Quinn probably, oh, McCarr, 109 points, jeez. Carlson on 84. It's Colorado, right? Yeah. Ekblad right up there. Eskinen. Over on Dallas. We gotta be up against him. Him and Klingberg, of course. Good one-two punch there. Hannafin over on Calgary had a pretty good year. Yeah, Quinn didn't have the greatest year, but he also missed, what, 12 games? 13 games. So I think if he had got some points there, he probably would have been upwards of... Uh, probably would have been around Roman Yossi, I'm guessing. Probably between Yossi and Ekblad would be my guess. The top five in points for a defenseman, okay. Uh, what about goalies who had a good season? Binnington. Binnington and Rask, eh? 2.61 there and 2.71 saves there. 2.5 for Vasilevsky. Uh, Vasilevsky might get the uh, Vesna with that record, although 45 wins is a. Yeah. I think it'll it'll be one of those three. It'll either be Bennington, Tuka Rask, or Vasilevsky. And what about rookies? Red McCarty. McCarty, sorry, not McCartney. 60-point season for the Kings. Gabe Velarde over there on LA. Oh, Kings had uh, two, two rookies there. Valeno, I think, is in Detroit, isn't he? Yes, he is. Adam Bockfist, 30 points, not too bad for a defenseman there. Matt Heimel, I think he actually plays for the Canucks this year in real life. What is he? He's a center apparently. Hmm, maybe we should think about that, eh? Oh, he doesn't fit in, okay. <laughs> Just thought we'd try it. That's fine. So we are up against the Dallas Stars in round one. So let's have a quick look. Well, let's save our game, I guess, first. Looks like Vince Dunn is back to 100% as Vancouver reported he's ready to go. Yes. Lingren is also ready for the Rangers. All right, so Rangers versus Red Wings. You've got Shesterkin in net for New York and Bernier for Detroit. Let's have a look at uh, the Dallas team while well, we can. We also got to change our goalie rotations to off. The Dallas Stars, what do they got? Jamie Benn, Tyler Sagan, and Denis Gurianov. That's a pretty good first line. Craig Smith, Pavelski, Radulov on the second line. Again, pretty decent. Nieto, Hints, and Nygaard. Again, pretty good. Ifalo, Ryan, and Tufty. Again. I'm not seeing any glaring holes there. I mean, maybe Nygaard could be a little bit better. But then you have uh, Ifalo, if that's accurate, at an 85. 
so it's a bit of a wash. I believe Ben's a bit better than 82. He's probably close to like an 87 or 88. Defensively, yeah. So they've got us beat defensively. Um, definitely. Heskinen and Klingberg, I think, are better than uh, Pulock and Quinn. Essa Lindell is mid-80s. Shattenkirk's also mid-80s, so a better second line. Honker I don't know much about, and Mayfield I know nothing about, so... So far it's pretty close. What about goalies? What have they got? Ben Bishop and Ryan Miller. 41 years old, gee. Okay, so this could be an interesting matchup, I reckon. We'll see how we go. Uh, I did say we need to change our settings though, didn't we? We don't want auto goalie rotation. We want to be controlling that. So we get to decide when we want to bring in Rhymer. If uh, Demko doesn't have a good start. Okay, so we'll save that. We'll have a look at the other playoff games and see who's doing what. So we've got us versus Dallas, the Sharkies, hang on a second, San Jose are up against Edmonton, Colorado versus Nashville, Chicago versus St. Louis, not a bad series, just the two Canadian teams in there, Calgary did not make it, neither did Winnipeg, and over in the east, it was just the Maple Leafs made it, they did not, Montreal didn't, and Ottawa didn't. Okay. So Toronto versus Boston. Gee, I think I think I've heard that story before. We'll see how this chapter goes. All Florida match up there. Tampa Bay versus the Panthers. Rangers the Red Wings, we knew that. And then Carolina are up against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Okay, so that's interesting one so let's see how we go shall we we are going to be seeing how this goes we'll go eight times speed we will keep it on goals and hopefully uh we play good that's the plan Dallas get on the board first with Tyler Sagan. They had double the shots that we had. Power play for us does not go anywhere. Does not go anywhere. Okay, that's fine. So let's uh, keep going. All that ties it and gives us the lead a minute like twelve, well, seven seconds later. Okay. I guess he won the face off and just ripped it down there. I will be having a F1 manager video out tomorrow. I don't know when the next one will be after that. I was hoping to get one out on Wednesday, uh, but I hadn't quite finished editing it. Uh, it will be ready to go for tomorrow though, so that's when I've scheduled it. I got the, I think it's the US Grand Prix, so we've got three races to go after that. Uh, I'm hoping to finish it before or finish all the recordings before the end of the year and then I'll probably take a bit of a break with that series as we uh, think about what we're doing for season two. We know we're going to get rid of Yuki. The question is who do we replace him with and how good our car is going to be. So shots, we evened them up, 22 to 21, in our favor, actually. And Horvat gave us the lead going into period three. No mice advantage for us. A bit of a long power play, boys. What are you doing? Kiara gives us a two goal lead with halfway through the period. 
and Thatcher Demko played like Bubble Demko in real life. There you go, 3-1 win over the Dallas Stars in game one. So let's have a look, who were the three stars? Probably Demko, yeah. 36 saves, 972 save percentage, Horvat, two goals and four hits. Kara, a goal and one hit. Okay, not bad. Uh, any abnormalities in terms of ice time? Have a look on four. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter, does it? So Pulock and Dunn, Hughes, Kamenek, Petey, Nesnikov, Besser. Nothing really jumps out as... And I've only played three minutes, though. McEwen and Dubinsky played seven. Hmm. And then I'm guessing Demko played all 60 minutes, and he did. Okay. I'm happy with that. The game one in the books. We'll go forward a day. Hewlock has gained morale because of ice time. Declare has lost morale because of interactions. But oh, Tanev has gained it. Okay. So has Fantenberg. So who won? Colorado won. Toronto won, and so did the Rangers. Okay, so good to know. And Panthers and the Hurricanes are up in their series, and so are San Jose and Chicago. What we can do in game two, hopefully it goes a similar way. Now up to eight times speed. Oh, someone scored real quick. Eskinen, okay. Not good. As long as we can respond, I'm fine, but uh, we are out shooting them. That's a bit of a worry. We are out shooting them. That's a bit of a worry. Yeah, 17 to 7 the shots, but they they have the lead. That's the most important thing. The yeah, period two goes. They'll probably even it up a bit with the shots, so a little bit worried. Yeah, two nothing. Essa Lindell. So the defenseman for the stars there, getting them on the board. Besser cuts that lead in half. And Hamannik ties it late. Oh, that's a. Uh, that's a tough one for Dallas there. We still double the shots, 32 to 16, so we are just peppering them. But, peppering them's fine. Doesn't matter when you're 2-2 two -two going into the third though, does it? Next goal is going to be a biggie. Next goal could win it. Tufty on the fourth line. wasn't expecting him to be the next goal scorer. Another power play. Besser ties it. We might be going to overtime, boys. No, Tyler Sagan says no, we don't need overtime. Alright. No overtime for us, huh? 25, sorry, 26 shots Dallas ended up with. 40 for us. But, series is tied 1-1. Who got the three stars? Besser, two goals, assist, and two hits. Hamannik, a goal, assist, and a hit. Same with Heskinen. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's all we need to check, right? The 1-1 series tie. Colorado are up 2 nothing. So the Rangers. Boston managed to tie it up as well. So we move to Dallas. Pittsburgh tied it up as well, so did St. Louis. The other series, Sharkies are up 2-0, so are Florida. Okay. Good to know. Of course, our last 10 we went 3-7, but we had injuries. We got our best team back out there. Uh, we didn't check injuries for Dallas, actually. Should we do that? Maybe we should do that. Bergman's not back for a while, May 1st. 
Let's have a look at Dallas. I don't think they would have many injuries. No, they do not. Okay. Good to know. Good to know that both teams are essentially at full strength. See what we can do in Dallas. So the away team gets the lead in all three games so far. Fulock doubled it. Half a minute later, Horvat with again. It's a real hot start for us. Three goals in the first seven minutes, six and a half minutes. And then Tanev gets one late. They've pulled Bishop already. Ryan Miller's in that. Four goals on ten shots. Okay. Raquel makes it five. Hintz gets one on Thatcher. But it's 5-1 going into the third. Shot's pretty even, 20-18 to 18 in our favour. So no shutout for Thatcher. But a four-goal lead. And their backup goalie is in net. Could be a long road home for Dallas. Jamie Benn gets him within three. Ten to go. Yeah, I don't think they're going to get three goals in five minutes. Another power play for him, though. Doesn't matter. 5-2. 30 shots apiece. So we don't score at all in the third period, but it doesn't matter because we got all the goals we needed in period one. All that again, double, two goal nine, two assists and a hit. Raquel a goal, three assists and a hit, and then Pulock a goal assist and three hits. The big game for that second line there, eh? So how many, when did they pull, um, Bishop. Six and a half minutes in. Yeah, okay. Three goals in six and a half minutes. Yeah, that's fair enough. A goals against average of 27.7. Oh my lord. That's, uh, not good. That'd probably be how I'd play in real life. Actually, no, I'd have a goal rating of, like, infinity because I probably wouldn't make a save. Okay, let's uh, go forward a day. The AHL season is done. Did we make the playoffs? We did. So who are we playing? We are playing the Bellevue Senators, I think. Yes, we are. Okay, well, I need to edit the lines in the AHL, right? Who do we want to start? Who had the better season? For Carly or Kelly? Um... Wait, he only played two games? Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Uh, I need to go into player info. Full stats, here we go. So he played 46 games. 906 save percentage, okay. Nine oh seven save percentage. So do we want a twenty five year old? Or a 26 year old. He has played. I'm going to go with Fakali, I think. We'll go with Fakali. A little bit more experience. See yeah, how he goes for us. Let's get up to. Whoops. The season. The season? Oh, for God's sake. I keep hitting the wrong button. The game three. Four, sorry. So what are we? Toronto are up 2 1. Colorado are up 3 0. So are San Jose. So, uh, the Panthers, okay. Chicago's up 2-1. So's Pittsburgh. And so are the Rangers. Alright. 
and so is Toronto. See how we go in game four. I'm gonna get another hot start or what? No, finally the home team gets the first goal of the game. Shots. We've not taken a shot? Are you kidding me? Oh, there we go, finally. Their defense has been real good for them. 2-0, 12 shots to 4, and we need to pick it up, boys. Klingberg makes it 3. I think it's going to be 2-2, unless we can do something here. We are evening the shots up, but we're not doing anything. Hughes gets us on the board. Twenty shots to sixteen, so we outshot them. By what was it? It was like twelve four, right? So we had sixteen shots that period, they had four. What a weird game. Power play for Dallas does not go anywhere. Don't think anything's going to happen. Petey makes it close. Can we get another one? Can we tie it up? Late. No, Shattenkirk. Makes it a 2-2 series tie. Both teams have won a game and lost a game at home. Bishop. Two goals against, 36 saves, 947 save percentage, pretty good for him. Uh, Jamie Ben, a goal, two assists and two hits, and Klingberg with a goal. You all three stars. And really it was that first period. The Colorado have kicked out Nashville already. Uh, how did our AHL team go? 5-3 loss, okay. Uh, whoops. Go forward. If anybody else, Edmonton get on the board. Are we the only 2 2 series tie? Are you kidding me? Oh no, uh, Pittsburgh and Colorado. Colorado? Carolina. And I think the Rangers and Red Wings were as well. Yes, they are. Okay, so let's have a go on this. Big game five. Big game five. Dallas get on the board again. Yafalo makes it two. Tufty makes it three. Demko's gone. Demko's chased. Three goals in a minute. Oh, the God. Yeah, we're done. Absolutely done. Five goals in just over 10 minutes yeah we're not we're not coming back from this so we're down 3-2 going back to Dallas kind of do want a game seven so I might save this and if uh, we need to we'll reload it and uh, yeah I'm just gonna finish the game <laughs> We don't really need to see that, do we? Bishop gets the first star. 969 save percentage, 32 saves, one goal against. Iafalo, a goal and assist. Sagan, two goals and a hit. Your three stars. So, Dallas have the lead. So I'm going to save up to here. Austin are back to 3-2. Chicago, Knockout, St. Louis. All the other series are 3-2. Except the ones that are already decided. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And, uh... Also put a new file, I think, as well. Just in case we need it. 
because I kind of do want to reload it. And uh, if we don't win this game, I do want a game seven. So I know that's kind of cheese, but uh, whatever. Is that AHL squad going? I didn't check that. Okay, back to back losses. We're going to go with uh, Kylie, I think. Kelly. Instead. Kylie, you've had your fun. We'll bring in the other guy. <clears throat> and let's see how we go here. We get on the board first here, Duclair, with I think his first goal of the series. Hints ties it up. Shot's pretty even, halfway through the period. Ten shots apiece, one goal apiece, as we go to the second. Both teams playing pretty good. Both defense playing pretty good too. Sagan gives Dallas a 2-1 lead. On the power play there. And we go to the third. Down 2-1. The Mesnikov gets his first goal of the series. Lies it up. Petey makes it 3 2, set with 8 minutes to go. And that's it. We do get a game 7. Needed that one, eh? Definitely needed that one. So, how did we go? Who got the 3 stars? Can I just scroll over that way? Yes, I can. Good. Nemesnikov, a goal, assist, and three hits. Not bad for a playmaker, eh? Now, uh, PD, a goal, and assist. And Demko with the third star there. 9 3 3 save percentage. Made 28 saves. In the 3 2 win. Pulock is injured. Ulock is injured until April 29. Okay, I'm just going to replace. So we got to get through one game with him. Overtime win. But Kelly gets us there. So hang on. We got to think about this now. So Fanberg's going to have to come in. Correct? But Fantenberg is in. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to substitute him. I'm going to bring in uh, him. You'll see what I'm doing with this. I'm going to dump Stetcher here. I'm going to bring in Fantenberg. And I'm going to bring in Chartier. He's out. And we're going to put Stetcher up on that top line. I think we need it. We could also do that. And Quinn and Hamannick up there and then Vince Dunn and Troy Stetcher maybe on that second line. We might need to do that. So I think we'll go with that for now. We'll see how the other series are going. Austin and uh, Detroit tied up. 3-3. Three, three. San Jose through. And Tampa tied it up. 3-3 three, three as well. So you got us. Toronto and Tampa trying to advance as well. Okay, let's save this.
We'll also overwrite one. Oh, sorry, not overwrite. New, new one. See how this goes. Game 7. Been a while, I think, since we've had a Game 7. So let's uh, see how we go. No Ryan Pulock. This could be bad. Our uh, main two-way defenseman there. McEwen gives us the lead on the fourth line there. Five minutes in. Eskinen ties it up. Halfway through. Shots are pretty even. Ten to six. I guess not really, is it? it stayed ten to six basically for the last what seven minutes. Okay. The so Benko and Bishop are in the nets for their respective teams. Horvat gives us a lead. Even 13 apiece, the shots. Nemesnikov makes it 3 1. Twenty to eighteen, the shots in favor of Dallas. But we got a two-goal lead. We scored. We were the only team that scored in that second period. Five minutes down, and we are maintaining. Halfway through, still maintaining. Shots pretty even, still. Oh, pause, pause, pause. Ah, damn it. I tried to pause it and they scored. Um, alright, well, we don't get to see us advance. That's alright. So who got the three stars? Demko, 9-3-3 save percentage there. Two goals against. 28 saves. Orvat, four hits and a goal. Big move, big game for the bow. Captain Clutch there for us. Nemesnikov, a goal as well. So we just pipped the Dallas Stars there. Who else are through? Toronto and the Rangers are through. So we're just waiting on Tampa and Florida. Carolina knocked off Pittsburgh. I didn't notice that before. So Pulock will be back soon. Ish. San Jose. Two two series tie since we switched to Kelly. Alright. Um we're gonna save. If I have to uh, mess around with the save files, I'll do that later. Let's go forward a day. AHL playoff round is complete. And we won. 2-1. There you go, boys. Ryan Carpenter. The man we picked up. So when is... Okay, so let's have a look at San Jose. Let's have a look at San Jose, if I can get to the right bloody page. There we go. Yeah, it is still currently minus 20 outside. By the way, San Jose is probably easy to go this way. Yes, it is. We've got Evander Kane, Thomas Hurdle, and Timo Meyer. Pretty good on that top line. LeBanc. Garnier and Grigor. Uh, Garnier, I don't know, on that second line. He's much more better on a third or fourth line, I think. Gambrel? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. They have Furland. So, Kara and Furland are the two guys playing against their old teams here. Uh, Gambrel centering that third line. Aston Reese on the third as well, on the right. Spetz is not in the center. 
That's uh, Jankowski and Letnov. Okay, defensively they should be pretty good, right? Burns and Carlson, yep. Still got Vlasic as well. Ferraro, Rickler and Jeremy Wah. Jeremy Roy? It might be Roy actually. He's Canadian, so I don't know. Uh, not too bad though. Then you got Martin Jones in net. Probably similar to Thatcher. Um, Demko played pretty good for us. But I'm going to give him a break. This game, I'm going to put in Jim Reimer. Just to give him a break. The so Reimer is in. I'm going to scratch Demko completely. I'm going to bring in Eddie. Not because I'm not confident in Thatcher, but because I just want to give him a break. Dangerous, I know, because Thatcher is the better goalie. But we can somehow squeeze out a dub. The confidence that it give the team would just be huge. One one tie. Shots are pretty even. Fourteen to eleven. It's a very dangerous game, I know. Bessa gives us the lead. Bit of a long power play there for San Jose. What the hell, boys? 28 shots to 18 in our favour. So we really fought it on, but we could only manage a goal. We go into the third with the lead, but it's a slim one. Halfway through. Not going too bad, boys. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Yes! Good job. Good job, boys. Way to secure the dub. I didn't check the shots. Whoops. Uh, whatever. Oh, it'll say, won't it? 29 shots they had. We had 36. Or maybe 36. Depends. At least 36. So both goalies played real good. Bessa had two goals and a hit. Three hits. That was it. 2 1. Bessa with both goals. And now we can bring in Thatcher again. Oh my god, Raquel has been injured with a herniated disc. He is done. July 31st. Oh my lord. Okay, well, uh. It's gonna have to be. Um, Cartier then, isn't it? We'll bring Thatcher back in. I just wanted to give him a break. But that's uh, bad news. At least Vince Dunn will be back reasonably soon. I'm oh, sorry, Pulock will be done reasonably soon. Be back. We've got two more games that we need to get through. Let's see what else we can do here, actually. Hang on a second. The Chartier is a lefty, isn't he? We need a right-handed shot. That's the problem. Um, you know what? I'm going to put Zajac up there, I think. Just so we have that right-handed shot on that second line. I know he's not as good, but I think that's what we're going to have to go with. I think Bregman, uh, Bregman, Bergman will be back. I'm thinking baseball um, pretty soon as well. 
How is Tanav looking like? He doesn't really fit on that second line. What about him? He's a grinder though, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Uh, fits in on the third line. He doesn't really fit on the second line. But we're going to have to go with him. Unless we bring somebody up. No, I think we're gonna go, we're gonna trust our depth. But yeah, it's Hamannick, not uh, Dunn, right? Yeah. Dunn was, was injured, but he's back. Okay, so pretty dangerous for us. Chicago take a one nothing lead against Colorado there. So do the Rangers are up one nothing, and so are the Maple Leafs. Alright, so let's uh, save that then. So we made it to round two again. So that's a, a good sign. Of course, uh, what happened last time when we were here, we got knocked off in six games against the eventual Stanley Cup champions, season one, in uh, the Vegas Golden Knights. So let's see what we can do in game two. No Ricard Raquel. Which is a big blow, and he's done for the season. He's not going to be back until August 1st, I think it said. No, July 31st. San Jose with a power play goal, five minutes before the end of the period. So this could be a bit of a tough one for us. 13 to 7, the shots in favor of San Jose. We're down a defenseman, our top defenseman, top line defenseman, sorry, and also our second line forward. That's a biggie. Two big injury blows for us. We are staying in touch. Still only one nothing. San Jose shots 23 to 16 in favor of the Sharks. Now I kind of wish we did uh, make a move for uh, Nolan Patrick. Could really use him on the second line right about now. PD ties the game up. Six minutes into the period, and we are going to overtime. All right, let's uh, see what we got. So, uh, much different CPU game. Our goalie is better. Our offense is worse. Our defense is worse. Um, we'll see how we go, eh? We'll keep the jerseys. Or should we go our third? Nah, screw it. We'll keep our other one. Of course, last time we played the uh, Sharks was in preseason, and they absolutely killed us, if you remember. So let me see how we go. Hopefully, this goes a bit better than that. Well, it already has, because... Uh... Oh, hang on a second here. Need to mute the music, don't I? There we go. Perfect. There we go. We're back. All right, listen to this place. The electricity so thick you could cut it with a knife. Sharky's with the puck. Big save for Thatcher there. Good job, boy. Throws it back to Quinn. Quick pass to Besser. Up to Brock. Ooh, quick shot there. Didn't quite get it to. Crew, sorry. Amanda Kane up the hurdle. Over to Meyer. Stolen by Quinn. Stolen by Hurdle. Over to Hamannick. Off the boards to Brock. Got Petey with him. Gets the puck stolen off him by, I think that's Amanda Kane. Kane's got it along the wing. Wrist with it front. And he gets a paddle on that one. 
And that's McCall with the puck. Carries it through. And Martin Jones with the save and the cover. Face off in San Jose's end. All that be Sam Garnier. They have one more face off than we have. LeBan. We really needed that one, I think. That's all right. about a critical goal in overtime, Ray, as they even things up. They had to put in extra work to get the extra reward. They're now even in the series. That was a huge goal for them. I don't remember. I think it was Stetcher gave him a hit there. He was a, a split second quicker. He might have been able to disrupt that shot. Yeah. Didn't quite get there in time. Need to play the puck and not the boy and not the not the boy not the body. Oh well, that's okay. Demko with the first star, 35 saves, 946 save percentage. Martin Jones, 29 saves, 967 save percentage, and Agriga, two assists, three hits. All right, we are done with game two. Couldn't quite secure that, unfortunately. And while that's loading, I'll bring up the other thing. Replay the music again. There we go. So overtime loss there. So the series, is, all four series are tied at one. Okay. I don't feel as bad now. Whoops. Uh, how did we go? Overtime loss to the Bingington, Bingington, Bingington. I don't remember what that team is. I think it's Bingington. We're down anyway. Um, so we've got to get through this game as well. Without Ryan Pulock. We'll see how we go, eh? In San Jose. All that gives us a lead. Besser doubles it. Those two goals is all that was needed last game out. We'll see how that goes. Shots are even, 8-8. Eight, eight. Gambrel gets him on the board. Reese ties it. 13 seconds later. Garnier gives him the lead. A big period for San Jose. They come all the way back. And it's a 4-3. I was going to say 3-3 tie, but Besser with another goal. Three seconds before the end of the second gives us a lead. Shots 19-18 to 18 in our favor. It's uh, a tight game. Meyer ties it up. All that gives us the lead again. Back and forth affair. Come on, boys. There we go. 5 4 win. So we put Reimer in net. I see that. When did he come in? Probably the start of the third. Or maybe halfway through after they scored those three goals quick. That's fine. The Horvat with two goals. Same with Besser. Carlson, three assists and two hits are your three stars. So when did uh, we pull Thatcher? After he let in those three goals. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hmm. 
Fuel lock is back. Fuel lock is back. Okay, so defensively, um, we're going to swap these two around again. We're going to put Fuel lock in on that first line. And uh, Fanberg, thank you for your game play. You kept us in it. But it's time to bring back the main boys who got us there. So Chicago have the lead against Colorado. Carolina are up on the Rangers and Florida are up on the Maple Leafs. So we potentially could have had a 3-0 series lead if overtime had gone our way. Unfortunate. That's how it goes sometimes. I'm glad we have uh, Ryan Pulock back. Gregor gets the go-ahead goal there, or the first goal of the game. Chops are even. Back-to-back -back power plays for San Jose there. Doesn't go anywhere. 12-9 to nine, the shots in favour of San Jose. Just the one goal in it though, so both teams playing pretty good. We tie it up there. Kara gets a gets us on the board against his old team, Anderson. And the third line doing the work for us so far. Vander Kane ties the game up on the power play there. Seven minutes to go in the period. Shots are still pretty even, 24 to 20 in our favour now. Hope we don't have to go back to overtime. So we are slightly better off with uh, fuel lock up there. Oh, speak of the... Are your ears burning, Ryan? Berlin ties it up, okay, so... Uh, Berlin gets one against us and Kara gets one against them. Okay, fair enough. And we are going to overtime. I don't know if I can take this. <laughs> That's alright. CPU game for both of them. See if we can uh, do something here, eh? Start the game and I will mute the music again. Probably should put this on the other side, shouldn't I? Because then I wouldn't have to do that, but whatever. Um, there we go. See how we go. I'll hold the control in case it vibrates too much. PD against Hurdle in the face-off circle right, there. I think, death. no, they won the face-off, okay. Get your social media predictions. Overtime is underway, people. Great defensive play to come up and we nearly puck. got the puck back there. Here's a short pass to Vlasic. Vlasic. Hogging it. And he takes a shot. Gets a piece of it with the blocker. Myers going to play the puck behind the cage. Demko threw that out. Demestikov to Bessa. He's got PD with him. No, he doesn't. He has Quinn with him. Hughes plays it against the boards. Take scores! They win it! Is that Pulock? Is that Pulock from the point? I think it might have been. What a beast. They've got the lead in the series now as a result of a little OT magic. Certainly puts them in a great spot here. The series yeah, it was. Number seven, Ron Pulock. Just blasted it past him. Time game. They feel like they carry a little and we do a have a 3-1 series win lead. They were fun and they awesome. Could be over. Could be over if we had won the other overtime series. game. Great playoff action here this evening for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you at the next playoff game. Good night. Two goals and two hits for Ryan Pulock, your first star of the game. Kane, a goal, assist, and a hit. Gets the second star, and Josh Anderson, a goal and four hits. Total shots, we outshot them, 37-26. to 26. We outhit them, we had more time on attack. We had better passing, we won more face-offs. Um, they went two for five on the power play, and did not give up a penalty at all. The refs are trying to get uh, the sharks through. No, just kidding. 
Well, they might be, I don't know. Because <laughs> Anaheim's out, the Kings didn't make it. Maybe they do want a California team in. We're up 3-1. Colorado ties the series with Chicago there. Carolina are up 3-1 as well. Bergman is back. We probably need um, a forward replacement, don't we? Oh, hang on, I don't have the music on. Sorry about that. Completely forgot. There we go. So who could we poach? How is our AHL team going? If they're not doing great, then... Uh, They're either down 2 nothing or 3 nothing. They're down 3 nothing. They've lost. Okay, so we are going to go back to Fagali then. And I think we will bring up somebody. The question is, who are we going to bring up? We could. You know what we could do? Do we bring up Louie? He is consistent, consistent, considered a playmaker. All right, I think we're going to do it. We're going to bring up Louis Erickson. We need a playmaker. We just do. Uh, in the system, I'm going to bring up Louis Erickson here. No, hang on. We need a right handed shot, though, don't we? Shit. We need a right handed shot. Um. What is he? He's a right winger though, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Two way forward. Right wing shoots left. I need a left wing shoots right. Gadjevich. Could bring up Boudreaux. Or Duke. There we. No, I'm going to stick with it. We're going to bring up uh, Hoagland. Uh, not Hoaglander. We're going to bring up Louis. We are going to bring up Ericsson. Could be a terrible move. Oh. Really? Okay, hang on then. Um. Yeah, I'm going to put down Fanberg, I think. We'll keep Bregman. Bregman, I keep saying Bregman. Um, Bergman up. All right, let's do that. No waivers in the playoffs, of course. Okay. 
So I'm going to take off Zajac here. I'm going to bring in Louis Erickson as the playmaker on that second line. Uh, we'll bring Zajac in on that one. If it doesn't work in this game, then we will go back, of course. So Sortner is out. We'll put in Fantenberg down there. He can go up here, actually. Uh, there we go. Is Chatfield a defensive defenseman? Yes, he is. What's Rafferty? Either way. I think we're going to swap these two around. We just need to make some changes. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm not overly concerned about the AHL squad. But we're up 3-1. I think we might be out. I think we might be out. No, we won that game. We won that game. There you go, Fakali gets a big overtime win for us. 6-5. Alright, well, uh, let's see how game 5 goes. Thatcher Demko in net. Louis Erickson on the team. Can he do what we wanted him to do when we signed him all those years ago? Sam Garnier gets San Jose on the board. They are out shooting us 15 to 9. Zajac ties the game up. On the power play there, San Jose get another goal. Gambrell makes it, or restores the one goal lead. 2-1, San Jose. Shots, 25-23 to San Jose. Pretty even. Duclair ties it up. late power play for us, doesn't go anywhere, and we're going back to overtime, because of course we are. 36-35, the shots. Alright, let's see how this goes, CPU game. I think we will go our alternate, actually. We'll go Johnny Hockey. See how we go here. Let me... Go back to the music. We will stop that. Go back to that thing. Bring you up. This could be the last period for this uh, stream, but we'll see. PD against Hurdle. Maya with the face off. Oh, Maya with the face off. Hurdle with the face off in there. Saved by Thatcher. Oh, Carlson open. Oh, big Huge hit there by whoever that was. On the left, that's Quinn, I think. Besser with the puck. The over to Nemesnikov. Off the mask, I think, of Martin Jones. The side. Vlasic carries it in. Over to Timo Meyer. Up to Carlson. Back to Kane. Doesn't make it through. Pulock carries it up the ice. Ooh, Petey had a shot there. Over to Pure, back to Petey, to Pure. I have no idea where that went. Martin Jones has it, okay. All that be Garnier. All that with the win. Over to Louis, back to Declare. Oh, gives it away. Oh, nice stick there from whoever that was. Travis Hamanek, I think. Oh, 
pass from the blue line. Scores! And that's the game! Damn. They've taken it over time! There's the horn in no, well, I think we'll finish this uh, you know, next this time. The skate, there seemed to be a I think we'll finish this next time. About this team, and they showed why tonight. See how we go. You play better when you're loose. I mean, you're down That's three one. The boys. chances of coming all the way back aren't very good. Yet now at three two, I think a little bit it's of a good uh, screen. Not gonna lie, I don't think that just saw anything. Yeah, Sam Garnier there, and I think one of our defensemen maybe there as well, Hamanek. James Sabalski, this series will continue on, and we will talk to you They're then. They're up 3-2. Yeah, I don't know who our guy was, but that was a good screen. Not going to lie. Garnier with two goals gets the first star. Talbot, second star. Three at 31 saves, 939 save percentage. Then with Talbot and not Max Jones. Max Jones? Martin Jones. Max Jones plays for Anaheim, Tez. And Horvat. Two assists, eight hits. Jeez. Shots are even, or ne nearly, 39 38. We out hit them. Had more time on attack. Passing was better. One more face offs. Uh, had the power plays. Just couldn't get it done. Just couldn't get it done. That's alright. That's how it goes sometimes, right? So I think what we're going to do is we will start the next stream, and I don't know when the next stream is going to be. Uh, we might be... I might do a Christmas one. If it's not going to be a Christmas one, it'll be in a week. Uh, maybe I should do a Christmas one because of that. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Uh, regardless, Merry Christmas, everybody. I uh, hope you have a excellent weekend. Uh, if you're traveling, stay safe. Uh, hopefully the roads are in good condition for you. Uh, did anybody win? Florida are up 3-2, so are Carolina. And so are Chicago. So every series is 3-2, okay. I'm not overly worried then, so I'm going to save it. And we will call that a day. And we'll kick off the next stream. Maybe on Sunday with uh, game six. So we've already done better than what we did in season one. We're going to have a game seven at worst. So that's uh, an important one, I think. So we will uh, see how we go in this. Uh, once again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, the support this year has been amazing. Uh, we are at 149 followers, I believe. Which is pretty amazing. So thank you very much for that, everybody. And, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, we'll be back tonight with our Vikings, Wolves, and Midgard. See how we go with that. Uh, we're hoping to actually go for a drive this afternoon, but the weather doesn't look particularly good. It was snowing earlier. I had to get our car off the uh, lot because they were doing snow removal. Um, and they put a little note up on the door, right? If you don't move, you can't even move. We're doing it on this time, on this day. If you don't move it, you risk runner getting a fine. So don't want that. So I moved it this morning. And it was snowing, so we'll see if we do go out. Otherwise, our stream will be at the regular time, so 6 p.m., uh, so just under six hours. If we do go out, it might be a bit later, um, but I'll let you know on Twitter if that's the case. Otherwise, I will catch you, me and my partner will catch you at six. So, um, yeah. Have an awesome rest of your Friday, everybody. And we will catch you later tonight. If you are liking what we're doing, uh, you can always, uh, if you are feeling generous, you can donate to the stream, uh, either via subscribing through Twitch or Amazon, donating directly via PayPal, 
uh, or picking up some merch over on our Streamlabs page. Links to all of that should be under the About section on our homepage. But uh, yeah, no pressure. I just thought if uh, anybody is feeling generous this Christmas season, you are always welcome to do so. Um, all money that we get from our streams will be put straight back into the stream, trying to make it better. Uh, you know, backup microphone, backup graphics card, just so we have spare equipment in case something happens, like what uh, did a year ago with us when we lost our graphics card. We weren't able to stream pretty much anything except PlayStation 4 games, which was fine, but uh, a little bit frustrating. Maybe even a backup um, capture card wouldn't be a bad idea either, to be honest. Anyway, that is going to be it from me. Have an awesome day. We'll catch you tonight. Otherwise, have a great weekend. Have an awesome Christmas. And we'll see you later.